This is a brief overview of what your flipped classroom is going to look like when you're done. Here is your preview pane layout. So you don't even have to execute any code. I've got a pixel 2 here uh, picked out. It doesn't, it shouldn't really matter. Like if we, if we choose a um, Nexus 5X, it, it, it's going to look quite similar. <coughs> in fact, in that case, it looked identical to me. But we'll pick a, t a Pixel 2. Um, you know, you can automatically pick the best API. It doesn't really matter. You can, you don't have to pick API 23. Okay, so here's my layout. I've got four buttons, B1, B2, B3, B4. Oh, there's a bunch of constraints, and I want you to know about that. There's some text in the center. This is the goal. This button takes up two-thirds. This takes up one-third of the top. This distance is 16 dp. This distance is 16 dp. And this is evenly spaced. These two guys are evenly spaced between the um, edges and each other. And that's, that's really it. Now you can go up here and you can switch to landscape. And... That will landscape it up for you. And, um, you know, this is also now still two-thirds, one-third. Still, you know, text is still in the center. So it's, it's all, uh, you know, that's that's really what, what, we're, what we're going for. Um, and you want to do that. That's the constraint layout. This is the linear layout. Looks quite similar. I was able to, to get that mostly the same and then this is the relative layout and the relative layout is slightly different see if you can figure out what's different about it it's got the same margins that 16 uh, dp margin but when we go into landscape that b2 is just too small so we fix that at 100 dp so that's in the write-up uh, if you can solve it without a a fixed, uh, fixed size B2, that, that's cool. Um, so that, that, that's all. You got three layouts, go to it.